I've got another inspirational YouTube success story for you. This is Matt and Dawn. Three months ago, we started a brand new YouTube channel with a goal to get monetized in less than 90 days. What? And today, 78 days later, Whoa! 90 flipping days. Look, to get monetized in 90 days, it is uh, an aggressive goal. Uh-huh. We started by creating a four-step strategy. We knew that if we wanted to reach our goal, we needed to find the topics that people would want to watch on YouTube. And we have to figure out a way how to get those topics in front of people. So topics that people are interested in and what they call searchable topic. I had to think about what that really means. It's a phrase that goes around on YouTube. Any, anything is searchable. That doesn't help you. What actually helps you is, is it a topic, a keyword, a phrase that people are searching for. We needed to figure out a shortcut if we were going to meet our goal. So we used a combination of three things, tools, weekly goals, and audience feedback. One of the tools that we really relied on was TubeBuddy. We used TubeBuddy primarily for two things, keyword research and data and analysis. Analysis? And analysis. And analysis. And analysis. And analysis? Honestly, I don't think that we would have reached our goal of being monetized in the first 90 days without TubeBuddy. We wanted each video to hit a thousand views. The only video of mine that has hit a thousand views in any hurry at all is a video of a Robert Plant gig, but he's famous. We were hoping that each video would hit a thousand views in seven days after publication. If it hit a thousand views within this 90 day period, we were gonna count it as a win. Yeah. This was a ridiculously ambitious goal. That is a ridiculously ambitious goal. How did you do it? We had started an Instagram account a month before we launched our first YouTube video. One month before. We had about a thousand followers on Instagram. That's not bad. We have uh, published 14 videos to date. Nine of them have exceeded 1,000 views. Nine of them have exceeded 1,000 views. Which we think is, you know, just terrific. Yeah. Just terrific. Our top performing one in terms of views has over 13,000 views. That even beats my Robert Plant video. Is there a way to convert Instagram followers into YouTube subscribers? We did a couple things. First, we added the link to our stories and save those stories to highlights. That made it very easy for people on Instagram to find the video content they were looking for. Okay, that's an interesting idea. I've never done that. The next thing that we did is reels, and I included a call to action for people to type in a word in the comments if they wanted a link directly to the video, and it would be sent to their DMs. This was all automated. We used ManyChat for this, but it made it very, very easy for people to get from Instagram to the video that they wanted to watch. I've never used ManyChat. I don't know anything about that, but you know, this is an interesting idea. So this strategy just work great for us. I guess you've got to have quite a lot of Instagram traffic in the first place. The click-through rate from the DM to the video was quite high. Our YouTube channel was growing. We also launched our email newsletter and those automations, those call to actions that we use to get people to our videos, we also use to invite them to subscribe to our free email newsletter. Okay, so an email newsletter turned out to be quite important. We had hit our 1,000 subscribers right around day 50. 1,000 subscribers on day 50. 50. Yeah, I think it was day 53. Oh, day 53. Oh, okay. Well, that's not such a big deal. We only had 2,000 watch hours, which meant we were only halfway to that 4,000 watch hour requirement. Halfway already, though, is amazing in 53 days. Last time I checked, I was only 1.5% of the way there. Could we as new YouTubers actually reverse engineer a viral video? No. So we researched content creators who reached monetization very quickly in, in 90 days. So we posted this video. We had really high expectations, but uh, the video just completely flopped. We had launched that with the keyword minimalism after 50, but I just thought maybe there's something better. So I swapped that out, that word minimalism for decluttering. And once I did that, the video just absolutely took off. So just changing one of the keywords in the title really helped the video take off. Now, I saw this with my video, which was called I Just Got Monetized. 
and it wasn't doing much. But when I changed it to YouTube channel monetized, it suddenly took off too. I mean, not to thousands of views, but you know, to 476. What are some of the lessons that we've learned? Well, the first one is, is to constantly be researching other creators within your niche. Yeah, I'm still not exactly sure what my niche is. It, I mean, it seems to be becoming talking about YouTube success. And that is not what I want my YouTube channel to be about. But it is one of my preoccupations. And when I learn things about it, I want to make videos about it. Now, look, you're looking for topic ideas, but you're not looking to copy. We don't want to copy anything else, but your story combined with an idea gives it a unique spin. Okay, that's a really good point. A video topic that has already been successful for someone else, but with your own personal spin on it. So the other thing that we learned is don't give up on a video just because it doesn't take off right away. So in the case of our decluttering video, we just changed two words and suddenly that video became our top viewed video. And that means that we're now going back through all of our old videos that didn't perform as well and testing thumbnails and trying new titles. Um, to try to improve the performance of those videos as well. I've been doing that too with my old uh, 365 guitar lesson videos in 365 days. I made the mistake of putting a great big clunky title at the beginning of each one. 365 guitar lessons in 365 days, colon, then whatever the actual video was about. It turns out nobody cared that I was doing 365 guitar lesson videos in 365 days, and I didn't need to keep banging on about it. What they wanted was the actual guitar lesson video. No, what they wanted was nothing. But anyway, I gave them so much more than nothing. So that's our four part strategy for getting monetized in the first 90 days on YouTube. And we hope that it inspires you. It does inspire me, I can't deny that. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Okay, so here's my stats. In the last seven days, I've had 3.7 thousand views. Now that's a lot more than usual. And that's because of my Robert Plant gig video. I'll put a link to that below. My watch time hours have shot up by 95.1. Again, that's because of Robert Plant. Thank you, Robert. And I've gained 20 subscribers, which is amazing. Now, let's have a look at the totals, remembering the goal of a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in 365 days. So I have 560 subscribers. Will you be number 561? And I have 160.4 watch hours in the last 365 days. That's 4%. Okay, that's me done. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you got something out of that. And uh, please hit that like button. Give me a comment. What shall I do differently? What shall I do the same? and subscribe. You might be lucky number 561. Until next time, goodbye.